Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. It is your boy Christian the Hammer Card Man finally back to cook another deck profile up for you. And today we're going all gas, no side. Let's go ahead and hop in. So if you couldn't tell by the title today, lads, we are indeed cooking an agent deck profile. But before we get into that, this was recorded live on my YouTube live stream. If you guys want to come check out to that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you know when we're going live every Tuesday morning for the time being. That is subject to change in the future. But let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start off with three Agent of Mystery Earth, the best starter for the deck. Normal summon, get a search of an agent monster. It's a very, very awesome card. Uh, three Agent of Life Neptune. You discard this guy from your hand to be able to summon an agent from your hand or graveyard. Uh, and then when it's banished, you get to add a sanctuary in the sky from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Correction, this is only adding from deck to hand. So that was my mistake. Uh, next up, we have three Agent of Creation Venus. All three of these are basically your two card combo that uh, gets you into a lot of things. But Venus on its own can be a one card combo. Next up, the three bricks of the deck. We got three Mystical Shine Ball. They're shining, baby, and they're balling. You just you need this for the Venus to be able to get you special summons from the deck. Next up, we got two Agent of Entropy Uranus, just a free summon from hand if you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. And then once it's on the field, you can dump an Agent from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, its level becomes that monster's level on a tuner is uh, very helpful. Next up, we have one Agent of Destruction Venus. We just play this one copy for the extra deck. This one is the opposite of the normal Venus where you pay life points and multiples of 500 and summon that many shine balls from your graveyard or banish to your field um, and then shuffle or put them in the bottom of the deck when they would leave the field. Uh, pretty good card, just a great extra extender to help you play through and combo for more stuff. Great card. Um, pretty much only used for the extra deck stuff, so you only need one copy. It also does have an effect in hand where you can banish a Venus from your graveyard to summon it, but it's only one effect per turn and only once that turn. So if you do the special from hand effect, you can't do the shine ball effect. Uh, next up, one Majesty Hyperion. This can summon itself from hand or grave by banishing an agent from your hand, field or grave. Uh, just a great extender. It's a level eight that allows you to do stuff. You can banish things off of it. This is a good part of your combo. Uh, one Master Hyperion, this is just an extra in hand extender because you can only special summon it from your hand by banishing an agent from your hand field or graveyard. So it's Majesty Hyperion, just not as good. Uh, and then once per turn, you can banish a Light Fairy from your graveyard to target a card in the field and destroy it. But while you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field, you can activate it up to twice per turn. It's the same effect on Majesty as well. Uh, next up here for the spells for the agent package, we have three sacred waters in the sky. This is your rotor for the deck. Um, or if you have, the, and then if you have the sanctuary in the sky on the field, you can gain 500 life points for each Hyperion or agent monster you control. Just a great card. And that's, uh, that, that effect goes off the life gain if sanctuary in the sky is on the field or in the graveyard. And then as well, if this is in the graveyard, if your monster that mentions the sanctuary in the sky would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card instead. Unfortunately, it does not uh, prevent effect destruction, but that's fine. We have one chorus in the sky. You can pay a thousand life points to target a fairy monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And then if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field or in either graveyard, you can add one of your banished Sanctuary in the Sky or one of your banished cards that mentions it to your hand. Uh, so potential plus one for a thousand life points, but it doesn't really come up a whole lot. It's just nice to have the little extender for follow up. Of course, we're playing one Sanctuary in the Sky, pretty simple vanilla effect. You mostly just need it for the name. And then one Fallen Sanctuary, which acts as the Sanctuary in the Sky. Um, and then also when it's activated, you get to set a Sanctuary in the Sky or one spell trap that mentions it directly from your deck. There, you know, that effect isn't really the relevant part. The important thing is that you can use its effect to banish a fairy from your graveyard to target an effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of this turn. So it's basically just an imperm every turn by banishing a fairy from grave, which you can fill up quite easily. Uh, so that's it for the the actual agents package now for the all gas part of the deck here we are playing three hecatrice i know this is a weird tech a lot of people wouldn't see it but it's a a light fairy monster that we can get into the graveyard pretty easy and that is the important part it's also just an easy monster to summon if you just need a normal summon for some reason but being able to add the two copies of valhalla hall the fallen is really great if you can lead your turn off with this you just get a free extender out of it it's basically extra copies of neptune but only while you control no monsters um so it's just it's an all gas thing is really all it's for along with two celestial transformations same thing you just get a special summon an extra fairy out of your hand for free 
I was just looking to fill up deck space and I really didn't want to do any non-engine type of stuff so I just I went all gas yes this is a neg one interaction but it gets you another body on field to keep playing which sometimes is exactly what you need to keep going next up we have one Archlord Christia this is searchable off of your main combo with agents and it's pretty easy to manipulate the graveyard around to get its summoning condition off to get it on the field which is uh just incredible uh and then when you summon it that way you also get to add a fairy back from your graveyard to your hand for follow-up and it's just a great card archer christia fantastic so there's the fairy part of the all gas portion now onto the chaos part baby we're playing triple of the chaos creator i've loved this boy ever since he released i will never stop enjoying him and i will never stop playing him he is just the goat so absolutely love the chaos creator he's a fantastic extender for this deck we're also playing a couple copies of chaos valkyria just to help fill up our graveyard a little more it's also a fairy that can just summon itself super easily a uh, great extender overall and helps us set up a lot of things and then of course we also have the baby dragons because i mean they're just if you see them they're just free extenders and there's nothing wrong with that at all we also have one chaos dragon levianir the uh getting the only light effect on this is actually super easy and comes in clutch a lot um but all the effects on this are super accessible so i love having him and then lastly for the deck we we're playing one chaos space because unfortunately the boy is limited right now so that's all we can play if it ever comes back to three though we're taking out those celestial transformations and putting those two copies in you best believe it now for the extra deck here we're playing two protector of the agents moon this is one of your key line cards uh just takes two fairy monsters to make and then if it's link summoned you can send one sanctuary in the sky or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard usually you're uh, using this to send majesty from your deck to the grave to get it set up well it has an addition to that effect or if sanctuary in the sky is on the field or in either graveyard you can add an agent of mystery earth from your deck or graveyard to your hand instead you're basically only doing the dump effect is the big part of this but then also so while it's on field you contribute a fairy monster to target one card to your opponent controls and destroy it so you can get some extra board breaking potential out of this it's a combo enabler and also a board breaker going second which is super nice we're playing one celestial night lord parshath link three that requires two plus fairy monsters um as an ignition effect you can discard a card and add one sanctuary in the sky or one card that specifically lists it in its text from your deck to your hand or if you already have the sanctuary in the sky on the field you can add one fairy monster instead so basically you want to get sanctuary in this guy on the field before going into this guy and then that way you can uh get your arch lord christia from deck with this the rest of the effect it doesn't really come up a whole lot but sometimes it does i'm just not going to worry about it um so that's it for the agent link monsters for generics we have ip mascarena dark the dark charmer gloomy uh steal our opponent's sp best feeling in the world one nightmare unicorn because we don't have sp anymore unfortunate uh one apollos of bow the goddess this being a fairy is actually so funny it does come up sometimes but not super often uh one saryuja in the event we need to fix up our hand or do something like that just a good generic link one access code talker of course and one underworld goddess of the closed world because we had the space to do it and then next up for the synchro monsters here we have one executor of the underworld pluto uh it's always treated as the agent card which is nice it is generic materials and then once per turn you can banish a monster from your graveyard target effect monster on the field change it to face on defense position it becomes a quick effect of sanctuary in the skies on the field uh and then also you can banish this from your graveyard to add a sanctuary in the sky from your deck or graveyard to your hand which is just really nice so this is an extra way to get into that combo if you don't see neptune or a way to it uh so you have a plethora of ways to be able to get that off next up here we have the master flare hyperion this is what allows the uh dark venus line this is uh mostly generics one tuner one plus non-tuner fairy monsters for a level 10 synchro and uh you can use its effect to send an agent or one monster that be uh mentioned sanctuary in the sky from your hand deck or extra deck to the graveyard and until the end phase he gets that effect um and then just his normal effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect as a quick effect you can banish a fairy from your hand or graveyard then target one card on the field banish it so uh just extra disruption so you're gonna use this as a combo enabler mid combo and then be able to use it as a disruption on your opponent's turn which is great so once again it for the agent monsters for the rest of the generic synchros we have one herald of the arc light pretty easy to make it's also a fairy which once again can come in clutch some cases uh most of the time it's just an omni that with a really good effect one bear on the floor another omni and one chinging because we do a lot of banishing in this deck and this really helps her going second to break boards sometimes it's even actually pretty decent to set up going first if you know what you're playing against so that is it for this deck profile nice and simple like i said all gas no side so that's gonna do it for today's deck profile lads let me know what you think down in the comments below i would love to hear your thoughts on this deck 
I just decided to cook something up a little bit different and I didn't feel like doing non-engine stuff this time I just wanted to have the experience of an all-out combo deck nothing but combo and just seeing how things go um, So I'm gonna take this to my locals this month should we end up going we'll find that out pretty quickly here But I will do a combo tutorial for this deck just so you guys can see how it operates If you've seen agents before you kind of understand it But I went a little bit extra with the chaos stuff in there and the fact that we're not playing any non-engines so this deck can really just go all out if it wants to but anyways lads like i said leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed this deck profile don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see our future deck profiles and live streams as well if you want to tune in and see some of these recorded live and we'll see you all in the next video as always good fun have luck <laughs>